Hello, it's Reggie. Today I just found out there is a sheep in my bed. Oh, oops. Whoa. So, yep, Wanda Sykes confesses while eating hot wings. I love Wanda Sykes, so I can't wait to get my reaction to this. Ah. All right. You are going to get some fan. There you go. Yes, Crank you it are. up. Put it on setting two if you have to. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with Hot... Hi, everybody. My name is Reggie, and you're watching Reggie... You're watching Reggie reacting to Wanda Sykes' confessions about eating hot wings, I think. Without further ado, let's continue questions and even hotter wings and today i'm joined by comedian wanda sykes she's an emmy award winner with over two decades in the stand-up game you know her i'm also not an award winner but it'll give me an award i'm gonna be the winner nah from tv shows like blackish and curb your enthusiasm you can catch her latest project face value wednesdays on bt 10 9 central wanda welcome to the show thank you thanks for having me here how are you with welcome you all wanda sykes welcome to my show it's been Reggie. Let's enjoy. Hot food. I enjoy hot food, but I like to enjoy it. It's not a challenge for me. You're sort of hacking the game already. You have the powered van ready to go. You're in a good position right I'm now. I'm in a great position. Yes, I feel good about this. I like how you mix up the little, uh, you know, the, the flats piece, and the, the flaps and the, and the, and little the drums. drums. Yeah. Uh-huh. Got a little smoke to it. Okay. So when I love everything spicy and everything smoky. The wings. Ooh. Start by taking it back to your career before show business because I know that you worked for the federal government, the mm -hmm. NSA. What do you remember about Wanda Sykes, the government operative? A lot of the, the people who were like getting close to retirement, they all had side jobs, like somebody like selling candles or, uh, you know, fruit. I, I knew early on that that's not where I wanted to be for a long time. WikiLeaks, so. do you think it's making the world a better place, a worse place? They're picking and choosing what they want to release. Oh, so, yeah, okay, if it's something that we find entertaining and it, and it takes down someone that we don't like, then yay, good for, you know, we're happy. But then what? Are, who are they protecting? You know, it's like, I don't like that they pick and choose who to go after. Is this a race or something? Damn. How fast you eating that wing? You're eating it faster than me. You've already That's cleared it. I still have some meat on the bone. Okay. Don't right. come after me like okay. that, Wanda. I'm right. too. Okay. So despite your many successful projects and storied stand-up career, I have to imagine that it's Curb Your Enthusiasm fans that are some of the biggest Wanda obsessives. What sort of pitch did you get? Was it like, it's like Wanda Sykes, but you yell more. You know, like, do you remember what it was like? <laughs> um... I was friends with one of the producers on the show. She called and she's like, we're shooting at this car dealership. Come down here and meet Larry. I'm like, okay. I say, well, I'm not auditioning. She's like, no, no, you're just going to meet him. Because one, I hate auditioning. I, I suck at it. I probably would never get a job if I had to audition. <laughs> so I get down there and there's like six other black women sitting at this car dealership. And you're like, wait a second. And I'm like, what the? Come on. <laughs> Am I auditioning? And then she goes, hey, you're here. Come on in. And she just pushed me in the room. And there's Larry and Jeff. And, and Larry's like, you're out for a walk. And I drive by and I go, hey, I know that tush anywhere. And I go, why the fuck would you say something like that? And he just fell out laughing. He just thought it was the funniest thing. And then we just went back and forth. And he was like, okay, yeah, you, 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 you have the job. He no. kind of tricked you into a Curb Your Enthusiasm scene. Right. You know, like you kind of fell into his trap. And yeah. Like, it exactly. worked out pretty well. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't ask me to come back. Oh. Uh, let's we'll see how that goes. What the hell Portland knows about a hot sauce? Ooh, the secret art mark. What mm -hmm. the hell? Mm. 
Is the Crazy Eyes Killer episode the best ever in your opinion? Do you have one that's a favorite? Everyone loves that episode. That's uh, not one of my favorites. It makes me so fucking nervous. It really does. Because whenever a white person comes up to me and says, Oh, man, Crazy Eyes Killer. And I'm like this, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, is he going to say it? Please don't say it. And I'm just waiting for him to say, you know, are you my... I'm like, uh, don't, come on, man, don't say it. I don't want to fight you in this airport. Scotch bonnet and ginger sauce. Oh, and had a little hair on it right there. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm. You leave the hair on. That's the YouTube <laughs> red carpet treatment, Wanda. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> All right, so on your new show, Face Value, mm -hmm. contestants are rewarded on their ability to profile total strangers. So now I'm going to turn the tables on you, Wanda. What I've done is I've pulled up some pictures of people who work behind the scenes here at Hot Ones. And what I'm hoping you can do is okay. identify their role here. Okay. Maybe a character trait or two, and maybe their most annoying habit. I'll keep just, it kind of Just from open. a picture? Just from a picture. Oh, wow. Straight from a picture, Wanda. Okay. Not a lot to work off of. Okay. It's okay. I can do this. You can do it. Yeah. Here we have Chris Murphy doing Chris Murphy things. Chris Murphy still lives at home. He goes to get takes the lunch orders and uh and he, and he and he fucks it up a lot too. I can tell. And he's always trying to like hang out after work. And you guys are all like, nah, man, we're going home. And I, I got this thing I got to do. So he's like, okay. And then you guys get together without him. You drew back the arrow and just <laughs> bullseye. Bullseye. <laughs> Kristen slaying on a wow. boat in wow. Portugal. That's a powerful black woman right there. Yeah. She is. She's not taking any lip. She will put you in your place. Uh, she's probably the receptionist. <laughs> That's, that's the gatekeeper right there. Here we have Chris Schoenberger. Oh, boy. This guy's sad. Might be gay. His dog... Ruggles over here. And his dog is like, don't jump, buddy. You got me. That's what the dog is saying. This is, um... Kind of... So it seems like comedians who love their craft, they yearn for nothing more than the microphone. As somebody who is a political satirist mm -hmm. and somebody who focuses on political humor, mm -hmm. have you noticed a difference in the way that these rooms are received in different cities throughout the country? I mean, I would hope, and what I've, what I've, what I've experienced, if you come to see Wanda Sykes, you should know what you're, what you're coming for, what, what you're gonna get. Now, every now and then, you get a few people who, like, oh, let's go see Barb from The New Adventures of Old Christine. And they get in there, and then they're like, what the hell is this? What, you know, what is she talking about? She's gay? What the fuck? You know, and they curse and scream, and they run out with their hair on fire. So this one's Dirty Dicks, very aggressive brand name. Dirty Dicks. Ooh. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this. It's got a nice little sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's thick up with the tropical twist. That's what it is. So I recently heard you cracking jokes about Jay-Z's ashy penis, which I think may be your most haunting phrase to date. <laughs> I have all the things I've said. That that one just landed. That one. It was a bomb one. that went off in my brain. Okay. Are you beehive till you die? Are you a little suspicious of the new Beyonce? Get the sense that you're a fan in limbo. I am. I am. All in. I'm 100 Beyonce. I'm Beehive. Yes, I am. That The the last album, The Lemonade, that, that won me back. Would you let your kids watch the Drunken Love video? Hell no. <laughs> Why would I do that? No. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you could like do a little gradual increase. I mean, this is uh, <laughs> this is kind of like a hot. I don't. I'm not enjoying. That's the road I think we're gonna take to the finish line. Oh, here. really? Yeah. Oh, all right. You are gonna get some fans.
Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Crank you it up. Are. Put it on mm -hmm. setting two if you have to. Pricking my tongue, man. Just, uh. And yet, I'm still eating it. I'm going to eat it. So in 2009, you did a White House Correspondence Dinner, which yes. is an event that I always find fascinating, especially from a comedian's perspective. Uh -huh. Do you have to get jokes approved? Do you have to jump through different hurdles? How is it different? I was shocked, too, that I thought I would have to send in all my jokes and they tell me what I could say and couldn't say nothing. I kept asking, uh, do they want a recording or do they want the script? Nothing. Is there anything that bricked that you thought would play well and it just kind of fell flat? I think because the first lady put a bust of Sojourner Truth in the White House. I told her, I said, look, when you guys leave, make sure you, you nail it down, you know. But because, uh, you know, the, the next white people who get in the who, who are there they're gonna move her to the kitchen so <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that one was a little flat that one was a little flat they didn't care for that one so far no big oh there it is okay mm -hmm. Okay. Shit's getting real. Yeah. Is there a piece of parenting advice that everyone thinks is really good advice, but that you've decided is not particularly good advice? The spanking thing? Uh, yeah, we, we didn't spank, but... Well, actually, I, I did. I did spank a couple times. I, I, mean, I, I got a couple of pat-paps off. <laughs> I got you, Wanda. Thank you, sir. How do you tell your kids that they suck at something? How do you let them down easy? I do a big, loud boo. Just a boo! Actually, we, I mean, that's the thing. It's, it's thumbs up, thumbs down. That's what we do. That's what we do. Everybody always wants to feed all the, oh, you're so great, you're so this, you're so that. No, uh -huh. like sometimes you just need to get uh -huh. it to them real. Uh -huh. My kids do it to me too. Thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> Oof. How you feeling? I'm, you don't want to know how I'm feeling right now. Oh boy. I think I'm tapping out. You got tap? Just chill. Just chill. Just chill, Wanda. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm 53. Yeah. I can't eat this crap anymore. Right, right. My stomach is like, oh boy, uh-uh. It's, it's kind of going a little bit crazy over there. This, But this is the problem. It's, it goes like from one to, these are like threes. And then you go to 18. Right, right. It's, and then this is like 100. Right, right. So, because now... Mm-hmm. I can say anything. It, it's, you know, I'm ready to, you know, confess the shit I haven't even done. That's, that's that, the that's show. That's where my mind is mm -hmm. right now. I, yeah, I did it. <laughs> I fucked Kevin Hart. Yeah. It was me. <laughs> what? And this is actually, this is indeed hotter than, or they're all on this same. Here's what I... No, what? She did what, Kevin? I would say to you, guests always have the hardest time with this one. Okay. If you can get on top of this one, you can get on top of this one, you can get on top of this one. I would say this, Wanda, don't try to be a hero. You know what I mean? Don't okay. go there. You've been clean and wings all the way through. I think you were lulled into a little bit of I was. a sense of false security, you know? On, Louis, on Crystal, you were like, there's not enough on. There's not, not enough, enough on. Right. There's not right. enough on. Right. And then now we're at a point where you're just sort of hitting a wall hard. <sighs> this, is a, this is not a peer pressure situation. Okay. I'm going to take a bite and ask a question. If you want to go swimming, you can go swimming. If you want to tap, you can tap. 
is not the end of the world. So your wife is French and I imagine that you have a lifestyle that's a little more continental than it used to be. France, I feel like, is romanticized mm -hmm. by everyone. But as we know, Wanda is not always so easily impressed. So what right. I'm going to do is bounce some French things off of you. Okay. And you can tell me if they're overrated or underrated. Does yeah, that sound I'm, good? I'm all on top of that. Okay. Escargot. Underrated. I'll say underrated. Even if you don't eat the escargot, it's that bread in the... It's a good dip action sauce. situation. Yes, yes. Don't, don't, don't sleep on the dip. French wine. It's better. Uh, it doesn't hit you in the face with, you know, alcohol. But I mean, their their vines are older. It's older, so it's yeah, a little more complex. Joe Wilfrey Sanga. I love him. I love him. My feast uh, annoys me. Oh yeah. Yeah, cause cause he he, he it's, it's like this. He he sucks you in, and you're like, oh, I think my feast is gonna put it together. This he's gonna do it. And then he's he realizes he made a mistake. And then he, then he does something dumb, you know, jumping up in the air, hitting it between his legs. Like, man, come on. Just get, get the ball back over the net. Just focus on that. French sense of humor. Oh, uh, uh, overrated. They're they're awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, my brain is yeah. like melting yeah. right now. Uh -huh. Is that normal? It's it is. I, like my mind is just gone. Uh huh. All right, Wanda. What are you doing? So this is the last dab. Oh, the dab. extra dab, that's right. Its reputation has preceded it, I see, Wanda. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's tradition around here to put a little extra on the last wing. You don't have to if you don't want to, Wanda. I know you're going through it a little bit. You don't have to if you don't want to. There it is. There it is. I, you know, I'm, a, I'm That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm here for the sport, for the... Respect. Yeah. Respect. Is that a little, little publicist stare down? We've had many of those on How Once. Oh, man. It's, really? it, it, I, mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. listen, listen. You know, uh, you know where it's going. You know where it's going. You don't have to go there. You don't have to go there, Wanda. You don't have to go there. I'm going there. All right. All right. I'm going there. This one, right, this. Send me to the ER. All right, Wanda, you started your career alongside Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock and Emmy, countless TV shows, movies, and comedy specials later. Somehow, you ended up in front of me eating the wings of death on Hot Ones. Yes. So if this is your undoing, if the last dab is, in fact, the last chapter, I wonder which comedian would you want to deliver the eulogy at your funeral and why? Keith Robinson. He knows me best. I know he'll make it funny. He'll, he'll give me a nice send-off. <laughs> if today or tonight mm -hmm. you're walking home, a large black man jumps out in an alley, and kicks your ass. I had nothing to do with it. All right, and that sounds like an open invite to me. And look at you, Wanda Sykes. You made it through. I, I know it. that it was a little bit of a trying moment here at the bomb, but you fired up the you fired up the fan. You got another one out. Going in for a second bite. Wanda yep. Sykes, what a legend. Now there's nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet for you, Wanda. Well, thank you. This camera, this camera, or this camera, let the people know what you have going on in your life. We um, have a show uh, premiering September 27th. BET called Face Value, hosted by Dion Cole and Tiffany Haddish. We uh, talk show the game show on True TV. Got picked up for the second season. That'll be back with Guy Branham. I'm on Blackish. Thank you. 
that was all awesome. So awesome of her. Salute, salute to Wanda Sykes and the show, this show she's in. And also, please support Miss Wanda Sykes. I love her very, very much. She's on True TV and Blackish Show. I can't deal with what she has been through. Oh my gosh, what she confessed. Oh, forget it. I enjoyed this 20 minute video. I hope you guys did. And if you guys like this, please click like, comment, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube here also on Reaction Cam. This has been Reggie, and it's been a pleasure having you watching me reacting to video of Wanda Sex eating hot wines. Have a wonderful day, guys. I love you all. Bye. Come on.